Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and depression survivor. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing for depression and anxiety. The title of today's talk is How My Cat Bruce Helps Me to Heal from Depression. Now, a, years, a number of years ago, I, I made a, a video called How Pets Can Help Us Heal from Depression. And the reason this is so is because we are human beings, we are social animals hardwired for connection. And not just with other humans, but other mammals, including the ones that live with us, e.g. pets. Uh, this truth has been demonstrated time and time again with my support groups. Uh, I have one woman who tends to isolate quite a bit, so she has four dogs. Not one, not two, not three, but four. So she can take them for walks, look after them, and get herself out of bed. Another woman uh, has a dog that she walks every morning at the same time. This gives her structure and exercise. Someone once said that... Uh, Dogs are a, a treadmill with fur. Uh, as for myself, I've been blessed with a beautiful a Persian long hair cat named Bruce. Bruce has been featured in a couple of my videos. And uh, Bruce acts as a surrogate child for myself and Joan. Uh, gives us someone to look after, to love. And when I do so, I'm not thinking quite as much about myself and my depression. Recently, Bruce has started to attend the depression support groups. We even have a chair where he sits. And sometimes he'll go right up to the member who needs the most healing and nuzzle against the leg. And uh, what we're about to see is a short clip of one of those members uh, massaging uh, Bruce on his belly, a, a place where cats normally don't like to be touched. Where's his head? <laughs> Bruce. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting scratched. Oh, look at that. Bruce, you're so good. <laughs> Bruce is up. Oh, can you hear the pur can you hear the pu the uh, purring? Bruce, you're on candid camera. Okay. That was Bruce getting his belly scratched and you can see right now that he's absolutely loving it. And here he goes. One day, a few weeks after this video was taken, I noticed that Bruce wasn't quite himself. He seemed sluggish. He was sleeping upstairs in Joan's room. He wasn't by his fireplace, his normal place of uh, hanging out, so to speak. So I took him to the vet, and what they discovered behind his long fur in the rear was a large abscess. Apparently, abscesses can grow in cats very quickly. Uh, they tried to stitch it up, but it was way too big, so they cleaned it out, uh, gave him some antibiotics for the infection, and put a big patch over it, and said, we just got to wait till it heals, bring him in every day, we'll look at it. In the meantime, they put a collar on him so he wouldn't lick his uh, wound. And in addition, because he had a lot of mats in his long hair, and mats are very painful to cats, they gave him a lion's gut. So here's a clip showing Bruce's new look. Brucey. I'm going to go up Bruce, show people your lion's gut, okay? Okay, we're going to go behind Bruce right now. Show him your backside. Let me see your tail wiggling, Bruce. Here we go. That's a cat with a lion's cut. He looks kind of pathetic, doesn't he? Of course, with uh, this vulnerable look, uh, Bruce has become more adorable to the people around him. Uh, and in turn, it releases in us the chemical oxytocin, which is the same chemical that is released by a pregnant woman when she's nursing. So this makes Joan, myself, and the group members love him even more. The vet tells me it'll be a couple of weeks at least until the wound is healed. At that point, they can finally take the color off, and Bruce will be one happy cat. This has been Douglas Blog. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it and liked it. If you did so, please give it a like. If you have a comment, leave it in the comments section or email me, douglasblog at gmail.com. If you'd like to subscribe to this page, which I certainly hope you do, uh, go ahead and click on my photo. You'll be taken to the subscribe page. Hit the uh, subscribe button. And if you click on the bell to the right of that, uh, you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. If you want to contribute to this channel, just uh, click on the image of Patreon. You'll be taken to my page where you can learn how you can become a sustaining member. And if you wish to visit my website, simply go to healingfordepression.com. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.